Ooh, time for another video. This time we have another two narrators on the mic. Hey. Yo. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. We start the speed round. Now. Winston is a middle-aged man with a varicose ulcer, important, and works at this place called the Ministry of Truth. There are a few other ministries, peace, love, and plenty. Oh, and there's this thing called a telescreen that can hear and see everything you do. Winston hates Big Brother, who is the ruler of Oceania, but can't tell anyone or he gets caught by... Thought police. Okay, now. Analysis. This just in, Winston Smith sucks. Okay, well, that's one way to put it. Winston Smith is an anti-hero, but he does kind of suck. Hey, do you uh, want to explain what an anti-hero is real quick, you know, for the viewers? Oh, for sure. An anti-hero is a type of hero. Obviously. That can be defeated, conforms to society, and has little to no skills. Thanks for that, but there are some reasons that Winston Smith, our little boy varicose ulcer, is an anti-hero. Transition! Here are our requirements for an anti-hero. One. Conforms to society. Two. No skills. Three. Is selfish. Four. Causes own downfall. And five. Is often defeated. Okay, now that that is all said and done, let's pull up an example for each. Winston Smith conforms to society by- Wait a second. What? We need to give a spoiler alert. Uh, spoiler alert. Okay, move along. Smithy Boy conforms to society at the end of the book where he surrenders to Big Brother. This also shows he was defeated. Hitting two birds with one stone, high five! Next is that he is caught by the Thought Police by sharing information. This requires a bit of context. Well, to sum it up, Mr. Charrington rented out a room that was said to have no telescreen. O'Brien gets Winston to read the Brotherhood book aloud. And turns out there is a telescreen in the rented room. This leads to both him and Julia, the girl which he's having an affair with, to get caught. Third check, done. Winston is selfish because near the end he volunteers Julia's life for his own just so he didn't have to get killed by rats. Winston just has no skills to begin with. There's nothing special about him. He's just a sad middle-aged man with a varicose ulcer who wants his wife that left him dead so he can legally be with another woman. Wow, would you look at that? Winston meets all the requirements. You know what that means. That he's an anti-hero? Yep, a Rooney, and you know what that means. We can end the video. Wait. What? We haven't explained why it's an Orwellian dystopia. I mean, it was written by George Orwell. But that's not enough evidence. We're running out of time. It's Orwellian because Big Brother and the party control the people through fear. They allow no room for hope and make sure the people know if they even think against the party, they die, even if they can't access thought. Okay, that should do it. 